your messy hair I like the clothes you wear I like the way you sing And when you dance with me Siamo a Padova e abbiamo con noi Kerry Kennedy, che ringrazio infinitamente per la disponibilità di eh, aver accettato il nostro invito. La ringrazio molto. Ok, do you see the faces on the cover of the book? Ok. Um, What do all these people have in common? I coraggio. Who courage. said that? Coraggio. That's right. They all have courage in common. How about you? Who here has been courageous? Anybody in this room? One person. One per There's one courageous person in this room. Well, I know Marina has been courageous, so maybe we have two. This woman is the leader in the world on domestic violence issues. Well, I think, uh, first of all, good morning. Today I wanted to talk to you more about domestic violence. I started working on domestic violence when uh, I was doing the research. I was working as a researcher at the Research Institute of the Russian Academy of Sciences. I was doing a research on what are the main concerns for women during the transition in Russia. Well, I designed a small questionnaire and published it in a, a women's magazine. And women were supposed to mark the answers and send me questionnaire, uh, send me answers. And among thousands of answers, I received two letters where women described what looked to me as like a horror story. And I realized they wrote to me out of desperation. They didn't know where else to go. And it inspired first my research curiosity. I realized that this is something that we all know about, but we Don't speak about that. I started calling social services. I started calling different agencies that I thought must respond to that. And everybody said, this is a private matter. We don't intervene. Nobody speaks about that. And nobody wants to respond to that. I started looking for the ways to work with it in other countries. I went to Sweden and I saw what they do there. And a woman, the director of the Crisis Center for Women, offered to train me. And after that, I came back to Moscow. The director of the institute where I worked, she gave me a small room, a telephone number, announced the number on the national radio, and I sat down and started working with these women alone. And in the first year, I dealt with about 700 women who called me from all over Russia. So today, there are about 140 organizations in Russia working on the issue of violence against women. I encourage you, when you study Speak Truth to Power, to find organizations like that, go visit them, talk to them. Maybe they need help, maybe they need uh, volunteers, uh, or at least meet them, because they are very important people in your community. And it's only your community, only you, can stop it and change it and have a future without violence. I hope my story uh, demonstrated to you that I was just one of the people in the community who heard a voice for help from other people and responded to that. Thank you. Okay, so every human being has courage 
courage inside us. The first question I asked is, who here has been courageous? Only one person stood up. But in fact, all of us have courage inside of us. That's something that we get as being members of the human family. We have the capacity for love, and we have the capacity for courage. And what separates the human rights defenders from the rest of people on Earth is that they are using that courage to create a better community. And that's what the heart of this is all about. Because this shows you ways that you can become a human rights defender. You don't have to win the Nobel Prize to be a human rights defender. And you don't have to be up here on stage or write a book. All you have to do is stand up when you see something is wrong. And you have to overcome your fear for the greater good. OK, in Darfur, as you know, there's been terrible human rights violations. But also, it's a place that's very, very dry for most of the year. No, there's no rain. And when the rain comes, it's an enormous celebration for the whole community because there's renewal, and there's food, and there's water. So today, I want us all to join in a call for rain. When I point to you, you have to do what I'm going to ask you to do. Thank you very much.